While some celebrated the birth of the United States with festivities and fireworks, others used the day to renew their service. 100 service members gathered on Bagram Airfield to take the oath of re-enlistment. Celebrating 4th of July here in the combat zone, I think it's important. It goes to show we as American, regardless of what's going on around us, regardless of the situation, we find a time to pay respect to our country and to celebrate. The ceremony began with the arrival of the official party and the playing of the national anthem of the United States. Chaplain Soup Kim gave the invocation, followed by a brief history by Staff Sergeant Kelly Simon of the events that occurred on July 4th, 1776. Point it over me. Point it over me. According to regulations. Lieutenant General Joseph Anderson, Commander of International Security Assistance Forces Joint Command, administered the oath of reenlistment to the sailors, airmen, soldiers, and Marines at the same time. Once Chaplain Kim gave the benediction, the 10th Mountain Division Infantry Band played the Armed Forces Medley. General Anderson greeted each re-enlistee and presented them with their certificate. The men and women from all services re-enlisting together is a sign of unity and commitment to the team here in Afghanistan. The ceremony held on the most important day of history of the United States gave each and every re-enlistee something more to be proud of. Really it goes to show their dedication to the mission and their commitment to the mission, not only in our, for our army, but also their commitment to the mission here in Afghanistan. Right. Hey. Reporting from Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan, I'm Sergeant Rodney Roldan.